everybody I'm Miss T with the t-shirt calculator and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to set up the calculator and use the free trial so once you've downloaded the calculator you'll download it as a, as, as a zip file go ahead and unzip your file and select Miss T's t-shirt calculator The app will run and you'll be taken to an end user agreement license. Go ahead and read that. And if you agree, click agree. You must agree to the end user license to use the calculator. The calculator will go ahead and open in trial mode. Once the calculator opens in the trial mode, then it'll give you a computer ID number. That number is for you to use when you get ready to actually purchase the calculator. But for now, you're going to just go ahead and hit close. <clears throat> Your calculator will open. Now, I've already opened this calculator, so it's actually opened on the calculator itself. You can go in and do setup when you actually when you actually first open the calculator. It'll open up on a welcome page and it'll show you how to set it up. But for this video, I'm just showing you the new things that we've done with the calculator. So let's go in and put in a company name, Robertson Printing. Let's do a contact, uh, Latanya will be our contact and we could fill this out if we wanted to go ahead and put in names and numbers we're going to go ahead and choose a product the calculator comes filled with over 500 products you can also go in and just let your customer supply products in that case you would select customer supply products let's enter a product color and let's enter in some sizes six small let's do two medium four large and 34 extra large. Here we go. We've got 46 pieces at 165. Now, if you wanted to do 2x and 3x, there's an upcharge that's automatically added in the calculator for $2 a shirt. You can go in and you can change that. Let's do 12 of those. When I want, if I wanted to do 3x, you see that? says size not available in all brands and colors so you need to check stock this this anvil um, t-shirt does not come in a size larger than 3x so that's a good little thing that we added if you want to add a second product you go right ahead you may have a customer on the phone that wants to kind of mix products or mix colors things like that so that's why we added multiple products so now we've got our total of product one and total of product two you could add a third product if you want to we've got a total of 77 products and this is the total uh, for the product the total cost now in this calculator what we did different in version 10 is we added the ability to print up to eight colors in four different locations so each location you can do up to eight colors we're going to do just a one color screen print job and get a price on that so we've got screen fee printing costs names numbers this is if we were going to add names and numbers let's add a number to the back of our shirts and we've got 77 shirts so let's add 77 numbers now those are going to be single digit numbers if you want to do double digit numbers then you would just you know multiply the 177 times 2 so that would give us the cost here of with printing and numbers you can also this area here is for our customers who want to do heat transfers you can do light or dark color prints and you can also quote vinyl with this and I would suppose that you could also do your direct to garment printing uh, quotes with this anyways here we go we've got our totals we've got an area to add discounts let's say this is a first-time customer and we wanted to give this customer a $25 discount for doing business with us so let's go in and add that now 
here's the price of the tax on this. Now we've got a taxable subtotal. We tax on in Texas on print on products and printing. We don't tax screen fees. So you won't if you go in and you try to do the tax, it may be a little bit different because, you know, you don't do the tax on screen on the actual screens themselves. That's a service. Now, let's go in and change our date and let's do an express three day. So if you put a price in the area for a rush job for express three day, it'll pop up here. And. It'll give you an estimated completion date for three days. So from the 25th to the 28th, which would be three days. You could also go in. So normally, if you did a rush fee, and we didn't add a rush fee, so let's just go back to five days. Here's the price that we would have for logo creation. So you can do all, change all of that stuff. Here's an area for you to add in shipping, and then just another area to add in anything else that you may want to add can type in instructions. Let's put white print. Oops. White print front center. Now, I don't have any t-shirt job proofs in this computer, but if I did, I could add a picture here. And I would just go to insert and insert you know, a picture of the design that I did for this customer and we could print it out. So let's see what we've got. I really don't have anything in here but a bunch of logos, folks. So, but we'll just go in and just do that and just, you know, imagine that this was the t-shirt that we were printing on and that we had a design there. So this, we would print out the invoice. With the design proof, everything is done, or we could email this to our customer. Once we're ready to go, we also have added in a packing slip for you to send to the back so that you know exactly how many shirts your customer ordered. And once they get printed, if you're short or anything, you can just go in and just, you can just write this in manually. How many they ordered, how many you printed in each size and deliver that to your customer. So that's basically how the new t-shirt calculator works. Oh, I forgot one thing. We also added a save and reset button and a clear form button. So we're going to, if you clear the form, it just clears it and it does not save the information that you have. But if you click the save and reset button, it will save your order under the invoice number and the name of the company. What I normally do is if it's just an individual, I put their name where it says company so it saves that invoice. So I'm going to show you how that works real quick. We hit save and reset. Now what you need to do is follow the directions. Um, go to the save and reset button. There is a... In, the, in, in your file, there's a folder that says save and reset button, and it'll show you how to set that up. But we, oops, I didn't want to close that. Let's see. Here we go. So everything has been cleared on this form. So it's ready for the next order, and the invoice number changed. So what we want to do is we want to go to the customer invoice folder that we have, and we've got Robertson Printing. And here's our order. So we can print this out. We can email it to our customer. And we're done. We've got the job, the quote. And we just shoot this through email. We print it out if we're at the shop. And that's it. And you, with this calculator, you can give quotes in about 60 seconds or less. You know, you can quote hundreds of products. So. Thank you for looking at the video and we hope that you download the free trial and we hope that you love it. And if you have any questions, then just shoot us an email.